All right, everybody, welcome back to the Foul Mouth Owl Anniversary Show. Yeah! All right, might sound a little funny because we've got things rearranged here. We're about to start with the entertainment portion of our show. We still have Fenris and Justin McNatt's going to be coming up. But right yeah, now, yeah. we are here with the Fenris trend, twins. Take it over, kids. <laughs> We're going to take it over. We're the Fenris trends. <laughs> We're the <laughs> Trenris Rins. <laughs> what are you guys, trends? Fenris Clintons. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just Fenris. How about that? We'll we'll simplify it down. The Fenris twits. The <laughs> still don't get it. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> so uh, our first song that we're gonna play is a little ditty. It's a little uh, remix off of a song from our first album. It's gonna be on our new album entitled uh, Minute Songs for Minute Men. It's gonna be dropping pretty soon. Real soon. Big props for the fan going on right before we start playing. Big, awesome. big props to the fan. Big props and or to the water heater, whatever that is. Big props to the bright lights. You don't know when I get recording and happy, I, I'm like this the whole time. <laughs> so we have that going. This is the diary of Anne Frank. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Elaine Carroll Studios. And listen to a story of a little girl from World War II She had a bad case of the drizzly shit She was hiding away in an old attic With her family, they hated her Because her ass smelled worse than a gas chamber When the Nazis came, broke down their door They didn't have to live in fear anymore Of that girl, smelly asshole Clogging all the goddamn toilet paper It's foul, disgusting Ratchet and Rank, it's the Diarrhea of Anne Frank. Elaine Carroll Studios. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I wish that, is that was good? Longer. Is that too loud? Are we all right? We're good? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. That's what's up. We're going to do some daddy issues. We're going to do some daddy issues. Yes. Uh, this is an older song, slowed down style. You just need to. Daddy issues. It's a lesbian oh, oh, song. Oh, okay. Do you want it to be a lesbian song, Squig? Let's hear a lesbian song. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, we're, oh, we're doing yeah, sensitive song? style. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Hey, this is Fam I Fell. This is from KD. We're gonna we're gonna slow it up a little bit for everybody. We're gonna get to our more sensitive side. This one's for the ladies. Uh, Dawn, Kim, uh, Elaine yeah, yeah. Carroll Ashley. Studios. Your daddy never told you just how beautiful you really are. Why don't you come tell me about it? Extra seats here at the end, end of the bar. Your daddy never gave you the attention that you deserve. Wonder if he'd try a little bit harder. If he knew tonight you'd be gargling on my sperm Elaine Carroll Studios Because he doesn't love you as much as I do Come here and tell me about all of your whore daddy issues. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Man, I spoke well, for a second. We love you, ladies. Almost got a tear. You Are love you okay? me, enhance me to speak. So. Okay, so this next song we're going to play, it's a brand new song. It's about a real important subject. <laughs> me? Not you, Squig. Uh -oh. Lately, there's been, like, the comedians, we play with a lot of comedians and jokesters and whatnot <laughs> they do a lot of songs about really things that are insensitive to a lot of people this is songs called jokes about 9-11 it's about all the in things you shouldn't write songs about or joke about right john that's correct my dad worked in that post office which one in 9-11 okay there cool. was a post Not office in 9-11 <clears throat> he was just working in post office okay shut up squig we're gonna play get it <laughs> jokes about 9-11 Elaine Carroll Studios. Wrong, so I'm taking a stand with this song against the offensive humor. I've heard enough in jokes about the Holocaust really burned me up. If you make fun of a cripple, 
I won't stand for it. I don't think it's funny. Not one bit. So keep it to yourself. I ain't got time to waste. And jokes about Jeffrey Dahmer are in poor taste. I'm going to tell you what else I think. Jokes about the homeless really stink. <laughs> and rape jokes, they're never funny, so quit trying to force them on me. Jokes about world hunger make me sick to my stomach. Mm. And jokes about bulimia make me want to vomit. Yeah. Cheap shots on the Jews just aren't for me. And what's funny about Helen Keller jokes, I just don't see. Jokes about gay men never make me laugh. Then when I gotta sit through them, they're a pain in the ass. So keep them yourself is what I'm trying to say. Cause jokes about masturbation always rub me the wrong way. Let's ban them all, make it official. Cause jokes about retards are nothing <laughs> special. We're taking a stand with this song. Cause jokes about 9-11 are just plain wrong. Elaine Carroll Studios. Yeah! No, no, no. I don't know, Matt. Maybe it's just me, but I always thought the jokes about 9-11 really brought the house down. <laughs> Boom, ching. Thank you. I'll be here all week. No, I won't. Okay, so this next song is a country song. If you listen to that... Shut up. If you listen to that last song, there's things we will not play about. But we did not mention incest, abortion, or violence towards women. So let's get them out of the way this right now. This song has all those things, but it has a moral at the end of the story, people. So just calm down. Come down. Ready? Get the pitch, right. Put the pitchforks away. Man, I'm just like the rest of y'all out there in good old America, man. Sometimes I'll just be chilling at home, drinking a PBR 16 ouncer, man. Watching Mork and Manny on Channel 57, man. And sometimes just look at that pretty little thing on the couch next to me. And sometimes I just can't control myself. My hands explode down my pants and there's a violent Studios. explosion. Well... I done got my sister pregnant I knocked her up good I didn't pull it on her belly Like I know that I should Well, Paul agrees with me She's a piece of ass But I need to kill the baby Got to do with best Well, my trailer uh -huh, might be uh -huh, double wide But it ain't got no stairs uh -huh, And my wet uh -huh, drive like it ain't uh -huh, work thing uh -huh, I could just uh -huh, run her down In my pickup uh -huh, truck But I just uh -huh, watched the accident I'd hate to fuck it up That's right, man It's one of them seven deadly sins There to fuck up perfectly go back to man I saw that movie with Kevin Spacey And Morgan Freeman, man He cut off the woman's head Put it in the woman in the mail Man, it's fucked up. But anyways, I had a problem, and I used my good old American ingenuity and know-how to come up with a reasonable solution to it. Well, there's plenty of churches, gun stores in my town. Not a lot of abortion clinics to be found. Nobody here that I can call for help. So if I'm a taking out the baby, gotta do it myself. Well, I saw uh, my sister uh, the other uh, night, uh, told her I was gonna uh, make everything uh, alright. Cause what uh, kind uh, of brother uh, would I be uh, if I'd uh, help kill my aunt? Baby. That's right, man. What kind of brother would I be if I didn't help take care of him? Man, I believe that the family that stays together, prays together, and the family that lays together gets rid of their inbred, unborn babies together. And, uh, you know, Elaine that Carol shit is crazy, Studios. man. Tell him, tell him something else. Go ahead, tell him. Well, I told my sis I got her surprise. First, she had to shut her eyes. She got them clothes tight in anticipation. Kicked her in her fucking baby making station. I punched her cunt. She hit the ground. Gave her ovaries a beat down. Left her laying in a pool of her cooter blood. Feel real good about what I just had done. That's right, man. I was feeling pretty good about what I did by looking out in the audience out there. And none of y'all is looking nearly as proud of me as I was myself. So I just want y'all to take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax. And don't worry. There is a moral to this story. There's more, right? Here comes the moral. Okay, here comes the moral. Well, everyone, come and listen to me. Hear the moral of my story. If you're gonna fuck your sister or your mom, make sure you put a condom on. Put a condom on. Put a condom on. Make sure you got a condom on. Put a condom on. Put a condom on. If you're gonna fuck your sister or your mom, if you're fucking her mouth or her butt. Wearing a condom is not what you want, but if vaginal pleasure is what you seek, you better make sure you're backing up your meat. Put a condom on, put a condom on. Make sure you got a condom on, put a condom on, put a condom on. If you're gonna fuck your sister or your mom. Thank you. Fuck yeah. How many more do you want us to do? Or keep going. <laughs>
do? One or two. Do one or two. You want to do juicy fruit? One or two. What do you want to do? Juicy fruit. Okay. Um, for this song, I would like everyone, if it's not too much trouble, to stand at attention and salute its greatness. I'm going to. It's not mandatory, but that's just what I'm going to do. What's like the greatness that we're saluting? No, it means a Woody. Uh, if you have right. a Woody, okay. fucking bust that's it out. That's how I'm going to salute. I ain't doing this, that. this is how I do All this right. shit. Okay. <laughs> Juicy fruit, stick it in and out of her butt till it pops like a balloon. I want to use her thong like it was a piece of dental floss, slipping roofies in her drink till she has a memory. You got it on tape. You can watch it again. That was awesome. That that video will be available at foulmouthowl.com. Tell your friends. Five for Foul Mouth Owl by Friday. Tell five friends. Tell five friends about Foul Mouth Owl by Friday. <laughs> if you want fucking good things to fucking happen to you motherfuckers. Okay, last song we're going to play. Because we're breaking bad fans and the new season starts tonight. It does. We're going to play a song about smoking meth. <laughs> yes, we are. I, 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 I'm quit my job, I'm taking a meth Gonna smoke all day till I rot out all my teeth Think of the job, I'll save money, I won't waste Brushy, flossy, and buy it to I wanna be a meth head I wanna be a meth, meth, meth head I wanna be a meth head I wanna be a meth head, meth, 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 meth I sold my clothes, I sold my house I sold a cat, I sold a mouse Just to get a taste of that class I ran in space out in my ass I haven't bathed, I haven't shaved Meth is why I'm so depraved I'll gladly shoot you with this pistol Just for a little taste of that crystal I wanna be a meth head I wanna be a meth, meth, meth head I wanna be a meth head I wanna be a meth head, meth, meth head I got a girl, she's in love with me Cuts on her arm, burn marks on her She gets real cranky when she's losing her high As long as I'm holding, she'll always be mine I wanna be a meth head I wanna be a meth, meth, meth head I wanna be a meth head I wanna be a meth head, meth, 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 meth head Elaine Carroll That goes out Studios. to the sound guy at Mojo 13 Yes, with the rotted teeth Who's that, Alf Rock? I don't know No, no Alf Rock's no. the booker oh, The sound guy If anyone that's ever played a, sh a show at Mojo 13 with him knows who he is why are you crying, John? No, I'm just hot and sweaty wow. up here. It's all good. It's very hot up here. Big ups to Foul Mouth Al. Thanks for having us. Hey, uh, welcome. We are Thanks, a lot. Thanks a lot for coming to the anniversary show. I appreciate we had a great you guys. Time. Justin McNatt is coming up next. Justin McNatt will be up better next. better than us. Yeah. Uh -uh. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Fenris rocks. Let's give it up for Fenris, kids. All right. Yeah. We'll be back in two minutes with Justin McNatt. Stick with us, kids. That was good. It was good, it was good. I get off. I get off. I get off. It was good, it was good. with the Foul Mouth Owl anniversary show and uh, we just got done with Fenris and 
uh, we are about to start here with Justin McNatt, the long-awaited appearance from the world-famous man uh -huh. from Garrison Lake, Smyrna, Delaware. So, Justin, thanks for coming out, and take it away, my friend. All right. This is a song called Bittersweet. My current frustration This particular situation My stomach is in knots My heart starts thumping like a big boombox Yes, her touch is all I need To power all my extremities yes, My eyes can see for miles You're just so bright I have to smile when If you hold on this one. It's called Pushing Me Away. Elaine Carroll Studios. Honey, we could have a real good time with a little smoke and a bag of wine. But if I seem a little perplexed, if any of these feelings should escape my lips, well, I should not have lied. Not the kind of guy who's cool with whatever, just down all the time, no. I just need to get out of my head. Oh, my love, um, it's when I go to make my move. I'm gonna be all over you. Just keep pushing on me, keep on pushing on me, babe. I'm on fire and the words I desire but why never hear you say This little lady's really driving me crazy It's never rhymed to this reasoning She keep pushing on me, keep on pushing on me, babe Hey, honey, we could have a real good time If you show me yours, then I'll show you mine 
And if we both feel touched, well, I, I'll tell you it's not enough. Cause I see in your eyes, you're not the kind of girl who just screws me over again. No, if I could just pretend, if I could just pretend, no. Cause when I go around my day, I always think of you. On me, keep on pushing on me, babe. Hey. I'm on fire, and the words I desire, but why never hear you say? This little lady's really driving me crazy. Is there a rhyme to this reason? Name, just keep pushing on me, keep on pushing on me, babe.
If I never see you again, no. I never have to hear that attitude. Oh, if you are not there with the morning, well, I know my job is through. Oh, you can save me now. Oh, you can save yourself. Oh, you can save. Ladies and gentlemen, on the Foulmouth Owl Show anniversary party. Sure. He's got about 800 songs in his catalog. Check him out. How can we find Justin McNatt online? Just a Facebook page? You have a website? Facebook page, Justin McNatt Band. Justin McNatt. com. With a Facebook slash in front of it and a dot com somewhere in there. And also on Reverb Nation. Also on Reverb Nation. Right? Reverb Nation. Oh, we're all synced. We got everything synced up. Everything's locked up. Tim's. Tim's calling the shots. What's this next song? What is this next song? I guess you could say this is the newest song. Has it ever been recorded? Do what I got to. Uh, not officially. Not officially. Here we go. First time on Foul Mount Down? First time. Ever recorded? Gonna do what I got to Stay ahead of the bills Gonna do what I got to I decided in order to get paid Take a job for minimum wage Call every club on every block Tell them I got something so high Guaranteed the pops all oh, when this thing drops we're going straight for the mother bleeper top So book a nurse is a guaranteed plus On your books with no mark to market books Don't worry though, still come out to a show Just remember to grab your shades What's that? You wanna hear a little about me? Gonna do what I got to To stay ahead of the bill I'm gonna sell with attitude Man, I got this look that could kill I'm gonna do what I got to Soon as our feet get through that door We're gonna make a sound you can't ignore So turn your head, ask your friend Who'd you say these guys were again, man? Get that, that guy in the back He just going boom, boom, tap, boom, tap And uh, goodness gracious, the guy on the bass Just pulled off a sweep that melted my face off oh, Don't worry though, still come out to a show Just remember to grab your shades What's that? You wanna hear a little about me? Gonna do what I got to Stay ahead of the bill I'm gonna sell with attitude Man, I got this look that could kill I'm gonna do what I got to do 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 Stay ahead of the bills uh, I'm gonna sell with attitude Man, I got this new deck of girl I said I'm gonna do what I got to I might skip a couple of meals I tell the sell with attitude Man, I got this look I could kill I'm 
Gonna do what I got to. Yes. Get this man some water. Justin McNatt on the Foul Mouth Dale Anniversary Show. I want to thank Brent Johnson and Mandy Johnson for coming down, and yeah. Chapel Stormcrow and uh, Mike D- Mike Dodson for coming down, okay. and Ian Pennington for showing up, and Ashley Schmack who came, and uh, you know Dawn, Ian's mom came, the new mom, John's new wife. Fenris twins were here today. Woo! Justin McNatt yeah. finally made his appearance. Who else came yeah. today? Who did I forget? Who else? Found Tim. Found Tim. Don't forget Tim. Uh, Found Mount Dow's right, right here. here. Fenris. Squig Fenris. Here for Squig. Everybody. I want to thank you, the fans, for hanging out and sticking with us for a year. And we'll see you next year on the Foul Mouth Out second anniversary show. See you, goddamn <laughs> motherfuckers, next time. You MMFers are my BFFers. Nice. MMA forever. We'll see y'all in the next Foul Mouth Thou show.
Foul Mouth Al Show is produced by Elaine Carroll Studios.